One year later, other tributes and demonstrations are popping up all around the world, including here in West Michigan. Fox 17's Walid Alamla has more. October 7th is a day that will go down in history for both the Palestinians and the Israelis, but for all the wrong reasons. And now, one year later, innocent lives have been taken due to this ongoing war in Gaza, and the emotions have never been higher. Real names. Real people. Real damages to the people of Palestine that will never change. You know, we've seen children eviscerated. We've seen people carrying their family members in bags because all they could find were small body parts. These are things that we should never have to see, let alone experience. That goes for both sides, with 1,200 Israeli citizens losing their lives in last year's attack. So what I try to do at every service is to do um, a moment in which we ask for the release of the hostages and a moment when we are ask for peace in the region um, because of being lost of lives on both sides. And those hostages are still not home. As a religious person, you know, so I'm, I'm not a, you know, a political commentator or, or someone who knows much about military strategy, but so we want to keep focused on um, the release of the hostages and um, praying for peace. Gaza, we will liberate. On the Palestinian side, the effects have been felt over the course of the year. There are 40,000 people dead. That's a number from November of last year. There's been 12 months of aggression since that number came out. We use that number because that's the number that was produced by the Gaza Health Authority before it was destroyed. Which brings us to today, where Palestine Solidarity Grand Rapids is protesting to end the U.S. support of Israel. Macy Gross was one of those demonstrators. We want to stop the genocide on the Palestinian people. We need to... We need to stop sending our tax money towards um, towards wars that aren't even benefiting us. And um, there's so much um, poverty and homelessness in America. According to Brown University's Cost of War Project, the United States has provided $17.9 billion in military funding towards Israel since October 7th. All of that with no real end in sight. Reporting in Zealand, Wadi Danamna, Fox 17 News.